you're not going to get every single week. You're going to get 90%. Right. And that's why I say when I come back with the, I already sprayed everything. Yeah. When I come back with that straw, you're not going to see none of this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, eventually flowers going to start dying out because you know it's the end of the year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straw, yeah, you just tell me. straw cost me. No, no, I'm going to take care of that. Yeah. That's fine. You just tell me what you oh, think it's worth. I'll redo the invoice. That's fine. I'll, I'll pay the 720 And uh, I also need to get, you know, in addition to that, I'm going to pay you 720 because we already agreed on that. I want to get these, these uh, roses. See those two out there? They're big. I want to get those out. I'm just going to take them out to the root. And then all these other little roses, they're still healthy. But I want to get them. Back. You know, go down in here somewhere. Of course, you don't want to use your chainsaw and everything. You, you get your snippers. Okay. Um, but get them down there, and then they'll and then new growth will come out on um, those. All those roses. You see those. Uh, so you want all these trimmed back? The roses. Yeah. All the roses. There's not that many purple. Mm -hmm. These have gotten. Leggy again. Remember where you cut them last time? Yeah. Right below the. You cut them right below the. See the, the brick the ledge? Yeah. Right below that brick ledge is where you cut them before. Uh, and like the. Uh, these are the um, beans. Okay. The ones that look like that. Okay. They need to be shaped, shaped up. up. Um, Let me point this out just from looking at it. These right here, these are camellias. They're just budding out. They come out in, they come out around November and, and they shine all the way through like mid January. Okay. So we don't want to touch those. Um, these. Which one? Well, they're the same kind of roses. When all them trimmed down? Those little ones. Even those over there? Yeah. Okay. So they get some new growth. So you want everything, say, stuff by the window, that over there, the roses cut back, all these trims, and you, am I hitting the, um, you call it crate murders or? No. Okay, no, sorry. Crate murders. Okay. And uh, these roses right here. So you don't want me to use no hedge trimmers. You want me to use my cutters on all these. Well, when you cut them before you use a chainsaw, and I think that may have messed up. I think it may have kept the heads from, oh, okay. from budding out because they haven't budded all year long. Okay, I think when I did these, I used a hedge trimmer. If I even cut them. Did I cut these? Yeah, you did cut them. Okay, I probably, I, if I did, I used I a hedge trimmer. I thought you used a chainsaw or something. No, I, see, the chainsaw ain't going to cut it. It's just hedge trimmer? That. Yeah. They get a, they kind of get a, I'm not sure what, but I, I haven't gotten any blooms this year, so I want to cut them back mm -hmm. so that, and then I'm going to feed them and then get them going again. Okay. So I want to get them down about, about right in there. What, about foot to a foot and a half, about a foot and a half. Okay. And then, they'll, then by springtime, they'll be back up to the point probably with new growth. Okay. And should be new buds. They've always done it in the past, but this year, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but this year I didn't get any buds other than the, the early, very, very, or very late winter, and that was it. Okay. It's been like that, and usually they're just covered. Got it. Got so it. I want to get those trimmed down. Uh, actually, Laura wants to get those trimmed down too, so she's mentioned them about four times. Okay, what are we doing to the other side of the house? You doing anything over there? Uh, well, the same thing where you see the, everywhere where you see the, the summer run pool back there, and the one, the garden.
I think they already spring, you know. Well, they, they bloom in the springtime, and then they set bloom for the next year. But I don't see them on there yet. Oh. See that? And that's the chameleon. You see the buds on those? Mm -hmm. That's just like those little ones over there. And same as those right there. Okay. They're dark green leafy. Don't want those cut. But this, you can see the difference in these things. Okay, yeah. I mean, they feel different. These are woody mm -hmm. all the way up to the edge. Okay. These aren't. They're woody down there in the green. Those, these areas right there inside the house. Those there. That's all getting leggy again. Right. Yeah. Brought it down to the top of the fence before. Yeah. in the back. Um, Come around by the pool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of them around the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Gardenia. Yeah, we're going to bring them, shake them up. Yep. Okay. Keep them kind of all the same height. I like them higher. I like them higher. They're kind of high. Right. right. They want to take about, they take about a foot off and they can grow off. Right. And you see them up. And that was pretty much it. That's all you had on it. Yeah. Okay. About the price on what you want to pay to get all that done. Well, I'm trying to think of what you charged last this past this year in the spring when you did all that cleanup. It's in my notes at the house. I don't have it on. But like you say, we hand clipping all your roses. We're not using no equipment for those. Well, I mean, when you use a hedger, I'm not sure it's a hedger, I'm not sure it's going to get through these. It won't get through those little gnaw out of one. Well, I mean, when you, once you, if you want to go that low, then I use a, a saw and cut them even. A saw meaning what kind of saw? Chainsaw. See, that's, a, see, that's a clip point. That's a cut point from the spring right there. Is it? Yeah. And nothing. I didn't get anything out of that one. But, okay. But um, will the head you do faster for you? Well, it's your preference. It's your preference on how you want it. I know. Will the head you do faster for you? Oh, uh, if we cutting them that low, we'll have to use a chainsaw. If you want to go that low. How low can you go with the head? Two foot? No, nah, I can't even get that low. I can just be taking the tops off with the head. Because it's not going to cut nothing over an inch. All right, do that. What you want to do? You want to just shape it up with the head? Yep. 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 And try the same thing on the road over there, too. Okay. Look back at the price. Give some thought. It ought to be. You just give but me I mean, a fair price. At the same time, I mean, I'm huge. Man. Yeah, just give me a fair price and what you feel is worth. Because it'll be best I go ahead and trim all that before I put that pine straw in there. Yeah. Uh, we'll just think it over and let me know. Okay. Yeah. How long do you think that's take? Oh. You trying to you trying to get done as soon as possible? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, I would have to actually look at my schedule and see. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's fair. Look at the schedule and I'll, and I'll give it to you the price and we'll, we'll come to the green. I guarantee you that. Okay. Last thing I want to do, Mike. Jay, you got all that stuff out the back? This all left right here, these shovels? Yeah. You put the blowers and the trim up? No, I don't, I don't know how, I don't want to mess up with this. You know what I'm saying? You got it from out the back. Yeah, this right here. All right. Steady, guys. Yeah, we don't have to get all that. What is that? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. A single wood weed pole. 